so a lot of people have been asking me how does my game look so good well not so good i mean the recording a lot of people have been asking what my settings and how my game doesn't look so blurry when i record well i'm going to show you guys my settings right now i'm going to go ahead and exit out of fortnite and look at my beautiful background but we're not we're not looking at that and i'm recording on obs too so a couple of things i'm going to be able to do but i'll try to show you as much settings as possible obviously you want to come to your settings right here and then obviously you want to go to video settings first and now you're going to want to have 1080 so 920 by 1080 60 fps that's what i like to use however if your pc can't handle it drop down to 7 uh 1920 by 720 oh no there's one that does 720 it would be in there you can like click this tab down it'll be in there you know what i mean but try that but if you can do 1080 because it does look much better obviously the next thing going into recording settings here you want to come to the top here of output mode change it to advance and then you want to come down here you want to put recording format on mpeg4 for mp4 so that way it's compatible with pretty much everything video encoder there's going to be a couple tabs here however if you have an nvidia just put it on your nvidia graphics card because obviously you want it to go off your graphics card not your cpu while you're recording because your cpu has much less memory than your graphics card obviously audio encoder just copy that copy this copy this now the rate control i like to use cqp and i don't know why i use it i just prefer it and once i put it on there my shit started looking beautiful so obviously the cq level i'm pretty sure it is the lower you go the more higher quality or the higher you go the more high quality you have to test that out but 16 is perfect there's no need to change it from 16 frame interval two preset slower there's no need to go to best because it's just going to make your game much harder to run in my opinion however if you are struggling to run your game go down to good or medium they're also pretty good options but try this down on this and the main reason why people um don't have the best looking quality is because they actual throttle their um recording so what they do is they put their quality way too high which then means their computer is using too much energy and too much of their supply to then put into the video which then makes it flop because there's not enough to actually try to render the video where it's just trying to record the video instead of rendering the video in the good quality tuning high quality uh multi-pass mode i have mine on full resolution however full resolution is a little bit harder to run than quarter resolution so try both and if you can run full resolution use it there's not much of a difference barely any i uh, copy these settings down and max b frames you also want to use that audio quality i just leave it as default and that's pretty much it for this but now what i'm actually going to go ahead and do is i'm going to jump over to sony vegas pro because this is another thing that i actually do use so as you guys can see this is my most recent video right here i don't put a lot of effort into these videos i do want to start putting more effort in i'm sorry that i don't put a lot of effort in but let me know how i can change it and yeah so pretty much um another way that my quality is also really good is the way i render so obviously you go render as and i do you pretty much just pick any of the 1080 ones doesn't really matter too much here or you can pick the top one here I'm pretty sure that's the one i picked because it's 4k and then you just go custom template and it's going to say 4k 2160 3640 by 2160 that means it's pretty much recording or not uh, recording rendering your video in um 4k which then means obviously your video when it gets put on youtube if you guys do not know this about youtube let me go ahead and pull it up real people are going to know about but if i go ahead and drag this video right here which is my most recent one and i go to stats for nerds you're going to see this thing right here the kodak is actually um vp.0 uh, vp09 sorry and pretty much that is the best encoder that you do want to try to get so this is the best way to try to get it it's rendering and then you pretty much just copy these settings down um 85 million 50 million obviously you want to use this one high quality and cpr these are the best settings for what i use however you can change a couple of things like you can drop this down to 1080 but like it doesn't really matter that much you can obviously drop down this if you're struggling to render as well because sometimes it can take ages but yeah they are all of the render settings that i do use 
and if this this did help you guys in any way shape or form get good looking content for your viewers please be sure to like subscribe and comment i'm on the road to 4k and i'm so close and it'd be much really appreciated if you guys could get me there anyway peace out